Darden from Monrovia Nursery and we're going to talk about how to plant a butterfly and hummingbird wildflower garden. One of the great cultural shifts all over the world is how we're planting our gardens. Farming methods are becoming more and more intense and so what we're seeing is this incredible migration of animals that used to live out in the natural landscape, these landscapes which are being taken over by farmland and all these animals, birds, butterflies, they are migrating to the areas, the communities in which we live in. Our, our homes, our gardens, the woodlands around where we live are becoming the highways and byways for the hummingbirds, the butterflies, the pollinators. These are really, really key green areas. Your garden is a key green area. Water is a key element for any garden. You have water in the garden and you will have the wildlife coming to visit with you, not only to drink, but to bathe as well. You know, even with sprinklers, hummingbirds will actually flutter and hover in the sprinklers to have a bath. It's quite amazing. But we're talking about wildflowers, the plants themselves. With me, I've got lavenders, hibiscus, pandora. It's very important to have plants for wildlife, especially for hummingbirds, that have trumpet-shaped flowers. These can be native varieties, these can be bred varieties. Honeysuckles are fantastic. Asclepsis, which is called butterfly milkweed, great plant that lives in many areas of the United States, and are now some super cultivar selections with yellow, gold, and red flowers. Echinaceas, the cone flowers, which are native to the Midwest, are key in any wildlife garden, and there's some tremendous varieties out there. The Chicago Land Grows Program has got one of my favorite plants called Pixie Meadow Bright and Mango Meadow Bright. These are marvelous plants. And what's really important about these flowers is that once they've given you all their glory of color, don't harvest them. Leave them there. Because during the migration in the autumn and again in the spring, as birds pass through your garden, whether they're going south or whether they're going north, they will stop and they will feed off the seed heads of the coneflowers. Lavenders, don't cut your lavenders back, leave them because the hummingbirds, the bees, the pollinators, they will still come to these lavenders looking for nectar and food. So it really is that easy. This is Nicholas Stadden from Monrovia Nursery on how to plant a butterfly hummingbird wildflower garden.